Ray and Utopian Ray. Utopian Ray taking out the invader, ZD, in loser's bracket, now yeah. having to play against Mystery. I know yeah. uh, Utopian Ray's been playing a lot of Olimar, but also this Palutena, extremely solid. He was originally a Palutena, started messing around with Olimar as well, but then he got Mystery on the opposite side, taking out Jen, who's been a good up-and-comer, getting Ooh. second last week, going home with a seventh place finish this time around. Also playing Palutena as well, so he's warmed up for this matchup right now. It just depends on how Utopian Ray plays. Utopian Ray, much more defensive, much more passive than that of, say, Jen. Uh, you know, he did re play Rosalina in the last game. However, when he gets going, it's very hard to make the bleeding stop. Mystery, much more of a passive player himself with the spacing he wants to uh, exert and slowly chip his way to victory. I think that this might be a little bit more in favor for you, Token Ray. The thing is, you call Mr. E passive, but the second he lands one tipper or gets any sort of momentum, he is getting in your face. That is and he is making That is moves. true. Mr. E, very, very solid at the ledge for the most part. Oh, gets caught in the air, though, by the explosive flame. Sleeping a little bit. You like, Ray going to take that. It's like Ray versus Stock Taker all over again. You got to be on the lookout for that. We get the triple, uh, the double neutral airs. Trying to follow up with a third forward air. I like the delay for Mr. E trying to go for the Dolphin Slash attempt. Still gets him with an F Smash, but a little bit too close. I like that Utopian Ray made sure he went close to E. That way he wouldn't take a tipper because he was going to get punished no matter what. Yeah, he had to go up because he would have gotten two for. I mean, he, he, had, he was re grabbing the ledge. He would have been mm -hmm. completely vulnerable for a tipper forward smash. Mm -hmm. So that was the most optimal thing Ray could have done. Yeah. Take damage or die. Yep. You, you, you choose. That's a big thing in this game. Acceptable damage is very huge. You have to know what situations it's okay with only having one air dodge. You can't just spam your way to, uh, to safety anymore. Okay, up throw is not going to be able to kill just yet. Maybe one more grab and a little bit more pummels. It is that final destination, though. We do have a pr pretty small ceiling, actually. So just goes for the Dolphin Slash immediately. Gets the kill. This is Mystery's first time at Xeno since Ultimate has been released. So this is, this is the first time we've actually seen him. There's a couple people who actually, this is their first event coming yeah. back out. I saw uh, Professor MJW as well. And it's really nice to see that Mystery is still holding that consistency from previous yeah. game to carry into this one. And he's doing a good job of keeping Utopian Ray feel uncomfortable at points. But Ray has just been able to rack up this damage so much faster than he has. Goes for the Dolph. Uh, so that that right move right there, the Dancing Blade, really good at catching spot dodges and rolls because it's just a long-lasting hitbox because they go by super quick. You see how quick it is. Especially with the worst tech techs in this game, but who needs techs when you can catch them with an air dodge? Yeah. Or excuse me, an up air. That's going to be yet another stock going to Utopian Ray. Looking so solid so far in this game. Oh, God. The tipper forward air sounds so destructive. You hear that? So beefy and actually doesn't get hit on the top. And luckily, he wasn't close enough, uh, or wasn't yeah. far enough away to win box him away with that Dolphin Slash. Yeah, which is exactly what Ray was trying to go for. Wait, he tried to delay to try to get the tipper on the fourth swing, did not connect, or else Ray would be dead right now. Mm -hmm. Utopia Ray just neutral get up, holding shield. He's going to get yeah. forced into a situation again. Often recover high this time, though. It was a good call. Yeah, Marth doesn't get too much off of a grab at this certain percent, so he might as well just hold shield and just take it. Be put back into disadvantage instead of dying. Mm -hmm. And he's consistently been baiting Mr. E into these air dodges where it seems like it would be a good situation for him, but it's just not. And he's been racking up so much free damage because of it. Catching him on the jump off the stage as well. Not going to kill just yet with that back air, but he did catch the yeah. jump. That he that was very it's kind of a greedy option to go for when you let go of the ledge and double jump back on to swing. If you get knocked off stage, especially like Marth, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Like you saw him, like because he already used his double jump to get back on. He was done for. And you saw Ray playing extremely patient there, just walked away before committing to the back air. And a very comfortable two-stock lead on him as well. Even though he was racking up the damage, Mr. E just couldn't close the deal. And I think it's because Utopian Ray was just doing a good job of staying just enough out of his range where he felt like he could punish him accordingly. But every time he overcommitted, he took so much extra damage from the multiple nares and the explosive flames when he tried to land. Yeah, just definitely catching him again and again. Let's see if Mystery can try to adapt for game number two, sticking with the Marth. I know he used to play Wolf a couple weeks ago when he was at Sky's Invitational. Didn't do so hot over there, so he's going back to his try and true Marth. Marth still, uh, people sleeping on him a little bit too early. He does have a, he has the ability to kill you at an absurd percent to manage to get the tippers. The tippers are maddening to deal with. Yeah, and I've heard many complaints about the new Dancing Blade, but I've also seen Mr. E land the tipper last hit of the Dancing Blade at least five times today. So he's already adjusted to it. And this character is definitely not out of it at all, especially with the new air dodge mechanic, being able to chase people's landing so much easier. But looking yeah. a little bit more comfortable on this stage, but again, Utopian Ray's defense just seemed to be taking the cake so far. I think a lot of people just didn't wanted to discount Marth a bit from like the previous game because of his jab. Jab in the past game yep. would lead into like anything you wanted. Forward air, forward. 
Oh, he actually still had... No, he used the air dodge. It's going to get him close enough, though. That's been such an underutilized tool from a lot of people early on, is doing the directional air dodge to get yourself back. But playing that far away from Palatina is only going to land you in bad situations with the auto reticle and the explosive flame. As we're seeing right now, he just cannot zone break him. Dude, that counter, like, froze time for a bit. Very freaky. Here we go, mystery. Just got to shield it. You get, take a little bit of shield damage. And the second he avoids it, he falls right back into the second explosive flame. Smashville might not have been the most opportune choice for Mystery, but I guess, you know we're still exploring. We're, tr we're, st we're still trying to figure out exactly. what stages I, are good for what characters. I get you know? the concept, like smaller stage platform, be able to chase him down a little bit easier where he was getting out space on FD. But Utopian Rage has just been using it to his spades. Like, all right, cool, you got two routes. You can come at me from the top or the bottom. Either way, I'm still going to zone you out. Don't you want to get that forward tilt? Back here into dash deck, true confirm. Now, mystery has got to be careful with these grabs, because even though he's hungry for them, you know, if you whiff that, especially a dash grab, you, you're completely vulnerable. And there, there we, we go, go again, catching him with the last hit. So many people have been dropping that, where E just has not. And that is something I got to really ask him afterwards, where that delay is in that side, because it's been super consistent all day. Yeah, he's doing a really good job getting that tipper. But here we go, two stocks apiece. Mystery at kind of hyper sense. Going to have to really respect these projectiles. He actually used the wave land to, like, avoid the mm. auto reticle. Actually, uh, very interested to see more people develop that as time goes. Trying to catch him on the two frame with that down air, not gonna get it though. That could have been a great position for him. Here we go, fair train, not close enough though to seal the deal. Okay, good, he had a DI away. Palatina does not have a kill throw at that mm -hmm. percent, so he's definitely trying to set him up for like a down throw. Mm -hmm. If you were to DI in, he would be dead. So Mr. had to DI away to get away from that, sitting at 106%, avoiding Bates out to auto reticle, but not too much of a lag from the deal with back throw, not getting the kill just yet. Mystery getting back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. That was actually the first time I've seen Utopian Ray go for an attempted two frame on the ledge as well with that down tilt. So good at lingering at the ledge. I think he's just finally kind of starting to remember it. And that's also a very scary position for E now too because that back throw at the ledge will kill at this point. Oh, he's out of jumps, forces the warp. Couldn't get the two frame with the down tilt. Hey, and he's actually starting to slowly bring this back. I think Utopian Ray has been playing so passive that he's actually starting to let Mr. E get comfortable with the way that he wants to play this game. And this is looking a lot different from the beginning of this so far. And Mr. E has calmed down. He's at, he still hasn't lost his stock when he's seen it 86% earlier, just holding on to the dream. Could not get the second swing of neutral air to land. Now he's having trouble chasing down Ray. There he goes, Tipper Ford Air, just putting him off stage. You hear the rocket blast. And here's that pick for Smashville coming through for him as well. Catching him, being aggressive on the recovery though with the side B, very smart option Dude, from Utopian Dude, when you Ray. get killed when, because, from someone that's in disadvantage, it always mm -hmm. leaves a sting, you know? Hey. But it does not matter, Mystery is taking that sting away, put the bandaid on it, got the up out of shield, immediately brings it down to a one stock situation. Exactly, and again, opting to do that directional air dodge to wave land towards the platform and get himself safe. It, now we're seeing much more uh, aggro play out of Utopian Ray, where he was getting chased down on the platform and he couldn't zone anymore. Now he's trying to meet Mr. E with hitbox for hitbox. I think this is this is a very bad spot for Utopian Ray now with the way that Mr. E's starting to look in this third stock. Goes back here. Didn't want to come into the full dancing blade. Could not DIY from that grab combo. His mystery is just desperately trying to find his way back down to the stage. Now, he's been using Shield Breaker a lot more recently here. He's trying to catch Ray going for a block. Doesn't work against uh, the Power Shield parries, but something, wow. something you got to be aware of. And I'm waiting for... There it is. I've been waiting for Utopian Ray to uh, accordingly punish these explosive flames, forcing the jump, trying to condition him to go high. And that time, going for the up air, unfortunately, didn't kill. Could have been the situation he was looking for. Ray's constantly trying to stay on the move to avoid getting tippered. Puts him in the air, tries to follow up with an up air, but good double jump coming up from Mr. E to avoid the situation. Good back job. throw. Holding shield as well. The back throw is going to take it. That's going to be a clean 2 all coming in from Utopian Ray. That was so well played at the tail end because Mr. E really got momentum towards the end of that last uh, second stock. He it just, just it came a little too late. And he died for it. He lost. He got the 2-0 victory for Utopian Ray. Mystery's going home with a fourth place finish, which is nothing to sneeze at in Out this of 126 minutes. Yeah. This is a mini regional today. Yeah, that, this is, that, honestly, this is a mini regional. The final Xeno of the year. Yes, that's